Okay, in case, uh, this is probably a new introduction from me to a lot of people. My name is Sean Newport, and I am the Festival Director at Pride London. Um, the festival being a two week celebration of arts and culture, segue, uh, into Pride Day, which is the giant parade and the stages. And it's been amazing listening to everybody today and really soaking up uh, and trying to articulate a tangible sense of direction, the aims and objectives, what the core values are, what the core beliefs are, and actually the overriding attitude uh, that might be pervasive, not just in this room. One of the things that Pride London is in a privileged position uh, to do is really to provide um, a well, I suppose, at its most extreme, a weapon of visibility. And when I heard, I'm not sure who mentioned it, um, when I heard some of the resistance to make an appearance at Pride, I sometimes, for well, myself personally, not as a representative of Pride, I feel that would become an extensive problem. You don't want to represent yourself as yourself at the largest opportunity you have. I would implore everybody, beg everybody, to rep them, represent themselves during Pride as best you can in whatever way you feel fit. Whether that's walking in a parade with the other 100,000 people, or whether that's asking to be on one of the stages, or being in one of the arts events that leads up to Pride Day. we got two weeks, and we're happy to support you whether you're from Africa or you're London-based, whether you're black, white, male, female, in between, or trans, it's not really, uh, well, we're not going to stop you participating. So open arms, really open, I can't stress that enough. And just by participating, being that visible, you're being political. And the signal that that sends out around the world I get in my mailbox throughout the year the appreciation of the images, whether they are, you know, dominated by nude men or semi-nude men, um, or just people who are represented the country. So was, I had a fleet of emails from people from the Bahamas and from Jamaica last year because they had presence in the parade and their images went around the world and inspired people to get more organised. That's, at least that's a start. So from a point perspective, really, just, so that's really my main point, I beg you to get involved. All of our contact information is on the website. So there should be no problem finding out um, about your, how you can get involved with the arts or the parade. Well, I just wanted to really talk about, follow on what you want to say about education and about when we look at religion and we look at our history as black people in our world, when you look at Haiti, for instance, and what's happened over there, there's a lot of um, a history with what those people went through to be where they are by suffering in the first republic with black people outside of Africa. You know, so when we look at religion as well, religion, we knew we nothing about Christianity five, six hundred years ago. This is something that's brought to us. We adopted it. Um, in my view, religion is an ideology, and we had our own ideologies before that arrived in Africa. So when we look at the issues that we're facing now on that continent, when we look at homophobia, then we have to look at what part of uh, foreign um, ideology had to play in this. So we have to go back before then. We have to know what we were doing prior to Christianity, prior to Islam, prior to whatever religion arrived on the continent. And in some way, and in some way, um, strip us of our own natural personalities that we had formed thousands of years before that, that, that arrived. So I think there's one saying that I really love: it's without with, with self-confidence, you are without self-confidence, you are twice as defeated in the race of life. With self-confidence, you have won even before you've started. That's by Marcus Garvey, and what that's really saying is you can only have self-confidence when you know who you are. And you don't need somebody else's measuring stick to measure you by, whether you're in the public, whether you're at work, 
whether it's in your own family, you cannot have somebody come and tell you how to live your life and who you should be, because we have the right to do that for ourselves. So religion, whatever, but education is what we need to be right now.